Hello everybody, welcome back to another video here on the channel, and uh, today we're going to be going through an update video with the whole Brooke Houts situation, which I'm sure you're probably familiar with, but if you're not, I'll give you guys a quick rundown of the situation, and then of course uh, there's a lot of new stuff that has come through this whole situation that we'll be talking about today, so if you're not familiar with the situation, pretty recently uh, there was a situation that unfurled on social media involving a YouTube quote-unquote star, Brooke Houts. Uh, she's not really a star. I, I feel like uh, the word star with YouTube gets thrown around too much. Um, people call YouTubers stars, even if they have like 30,000 subscribers when they do stuff. Like, for instance, this girl has 325,000 subscribers on her YouTube channel. I mean, for God's sake, if she's a YouTube star, I mean, I'm also a YouTube star. It, it's, I think it's ridiculous, honestly, the terminology that's being used here. I don't, I don't think that it's a YouTube star. If she had like 3 million, maybe. But no, uh, YouTuber, yes. But this quote-unquote YouTube star, um, Brooke Houts, basically uploads a video, um, and I guess she does a lot of these videos with her dog involved, and in this video in particular that uh, everyone has brought into question since, she basically uploads an unedited version of this video where she does a bunch of stuff, man, and she apparently did this by accident. But this unedited version of this video has her spit on the dog, she pushes the dog, she hits the dog, she yells at the dog, she abuses the dog. I mean, let's keep it a stack solid here. There's no real getting around it. It's animal abuse. I don't care what anyone says. This is flat-out animal abuse. There is no getting around this one. I, I don't care what the LAPD says. This is flat-out animal abuse. If I personally uploaded a video onto my YouTube channel where I was kicking and hitting and spitting on a dog and whatnot, people would, would tell me that I'm an animal abuser. I have a pretty good feeling that my local police department would most likely charge me with animal abuse. I'm sorry. I don't understand how this whole thing uh, really kind of broke down the way it did, but that's how the situation turned out. Of course, she claimed that it was an accident, but I don't understand how you can accidentally upload a whole unedited video that you didn't mean to upload, considering, you know, it, YouTube is so, I would say, hard to accidentally upload something onto. It's not like Snapchat where you can just, oh, I accidentally posted this. It, this is completely different, you know, but of course she got literally just destroyed on social media, and I would say very well deservingly so. She literally abused an animal on camera. I would say that she actually did deserve the outrage. One of the very few instances where I would say social media banded together, they destroyed somebody, and I would say, hey, maybe this person actually deserved it. So she got a bunch of crap, she posted a very horrible apology video, uh, not enough, I'm sorry, it wasn't a video, it was a Twitter post, and it, it was complete garbage, and, uh, you know, just the typical apology where they, they actually don't apologize in reality, they just make excuses kind of thing. That's pretty much the gist of it, but, uh, there's more now. Uh, I kind of figured that the next update would actually be, you know, the police telling us, hey, thanks for reporting the fact that this happened everybody thanks for making a big deal out of this because we've now charged her with animal abuse but uh the the next update we've gotten unfortunately is that she will not be charged with animal abuse and that the LAPD is basically dropping the case because they don't think that there's enough evidence to charge her with animal abuse now when i read this I actually thought this was a prank. You know how you have, like, these satire websites like The Onion and stuff, and they'll post, like, the fake headlines, and you read them and you're like, oh, that's good satire, that's good, like, social commentary. No, this wasn't a joke. This was serious. Now, apparently there was an investigation after she did accidentally, quote-unquote, upload this footage last month that did show her punching, yelling, uh, pushing, uh, and spitting on her Doberman Pinscher Sphinx. Now, uh, the LAPD Animal Cruelty Task Force determined that there wasn't enough evidence to support criminal charges. Now, look at those last two sentences, and let, let's take a, a good look at those. Let's analyze those real quick, okay? She uploaded footage that showed her punching, pushing, yelling, and spitting on her dog, but there wasn't enough evidence to support criminal charges of animal abuse. What? In what world is it not animal abuse to punch, push, yell, and spit on an animal? So you're telling me, according to the LAPD Animal Cruelty Task Force, I can punch puppies in the face. 
I can push puppies, I can, you know, go around spitting on dogs, that's cool. According to them, it's not a crime to punch a dog, but it is a crime to punch a person. What kind of sense does any of this make? You know what I'm saying? Like, I I'm just not understanding the logic behind any of this. So, according to this article, which is coming from Complex, uh, she was allowed to maintain custody of this dog throughout the investigation, which, personally, I don't understand either. I mean, they literally had the footage that was apparently an accidental upload that showed all this stuff, but she was allowed to keep this dog that she completely abused throughout this footage. They indicated that her case can be reopened if new evidence is presented, so thankfully, if this stupid person ever uploads another video by accident where she abuses her animal by accident and, you know, uploads it to the internet for everybody body and her hundreds of thousands of loyal supporters to see, maybe then they'll reopen the case and deem it not to be animal abuse because thankfully she only punched it in the face four times in this video, right? So she was placed under investigation uh, because they received several direct messages related to a YouTube video which people believe quote-unquote shows animal abuse. Uh, I'm, I'm gonna keep it a stack solid again. There, there is no people believe this shows animal abuse. Like, I mean, you can watch the video it, it straight up shows animal abuse. There, there is no, well, people believe this is what it shows. Like, she, she literally, like, strikes the animal. You know what I'm saying? Like, I just, f I find it crazy how if there was, like, a police dog and, like, someone recorded themselves, like, punching a police dog or, like, spitting on a police dog, they'd be like, oh my god, this is animal abuse. But apparently the LAPD does not think this is animal abuse, you know? It's kind of ridiculous, but now PETA came out and they condemned the video as well. Now, of course, PETA's going to come out and condemn the video. Now, here's the thing. I know a lot of people, they, they're hyping all this kind of stuff up. Everyone, uh, especially like with the whole Alinity situation, they're like, even PETA is jumping on the train. <laughs> even PETA is like, oh my God. Uh, another thing that kind of happened that's related to this whole thing is her uh, ex-boyfriend commented on the allegations and whatnot, uh, said that it uh, made so much sense because apparently uh, she wasn't a fan of animals. He brought up a bunch of weird examples and stuff from when they were together claimed uh, that she had an odd uh, an odd reasoning of not showering very often like just a bunch of unrelated things which people of course thought was like something that needed to really be brought up once again I don't I don't think this is something that I really necessarily uh care about too much because it's like it's unrelated information number 1 and number 2 it's just I think information that this person is using just to spite them in a moment where they're just in a public you know moment of defenselessness basically they're like well my ex is in the media they're being destroyed by everybody for good reason I can jump in and throw a couple low blows why not so I understand like you know, eviscerating this chick, but let's do it, you know, in a fair way. So there's ways of doing this without having to throw low blows. Let's just, let's win the fight fairly. So I just don't, I don't understand the mentality of it. It's like, oh, this isn't animal abuse, but it's recorded. And I feel like, honestly, if this was literally anyone else, like if this was just a regular person, I feel like this would probably be considered animal abuse. Like if, if this wasn't a YouTuber, maybe, or like this wasn't a controversy or something, I feel like this would be taken a lot differently. I feel like if the LAPD or whatever got like some random video on Twitter with like four likes that didn't blow up or anything of someone in LA like doing literally the exact same thing to a dog and they found out who it was, that person will be arrested and charged with animal cruelty and whatnot the same day. But of course people are not happy that she uh, isn't being charged because obviously it seems like the public consensus is that she's in the wrong. And I'm glad that that's the public consensus because obviously she did something very wrong. People seemed to want punishment for her because of what she did. It wasn't like, you know, there was like some sort of like public outcry against punishment for her or something like that. So I'm not really understanding the whole idea behind not punishing her. Like, they literally have no real reason, it seems like. But I guess it's A-OK -okay to, like, punch dogs and, like, hit them, so. I think in reality, uh, the best moral in this story is, number one, you know, justice, the justice system is messed up. I mean, let's be honest here. The justice system did not work in this situation. I don't know what the problem is here, like why we can't get something like this to work out. You would think this would be an open and shut case, but uh, something, some kink here needs to be worked out because people like this should not be getting off with crimes like this, especially when there's literal video evidence of them doing it, uploaded to YouTube for hundreds of thousands of people to see. Number two, and this is realistically, you know, the easiest one and like the most important one, be nice to animals, 
don't just go around hitting your dog and like other people's animals. Just, you know, be a normal person. Be a good person. Don't just go around like punching animals in the face and like kicking people's cats and stuff. Like, just be a regular person, please. I mean, for the love of God, can you just not? We get it. The dog gets a little hyped up in the video, but does it really does it really need, you know, a, a nice kick to the throat to be told to stop? realistically, and if you are going to be stupid enough to behave that way, don't upload it to YouTube. Like, just watch your video before you upload it and make sure maybe that, you know, the last 30 minutes of you abusing your animal on camera maybe doesn't end up on the internet. I guess, realistically, the easiest way to prevent that is just to not be a garbage human being. Don't be a Brookhouse. Don't kick and beat and spit on your dog on camera. You know, just my two cents on the whole thing. Anyway, I, I, that's going to be it for today's video, guys. I'm, I'm still kind of shocked, if I'm being honest. I guess you literally can just do anything. At this point, you can do anything to the animal, it seems like. So, thank you for watching. If you did enjoy, uh, make sure to leave a like. Subscribe if you're brand new around here on my channel. Follow me over on Twitter, at Subtoptimus. I post memes, thoughts, and updates over there. It's a surefire way to get notifications of all my newest content. Every picture I've ever posted of any of my dogs, um, I it's ever been up there, has never been of me ever abusing them. Just an FYI. Thank you to my channel members. Your support helps my channel tremendously. And until my next video, guys, this is Optimus actually not being mean to animals for channel content and signing out.